Xin chào, welcome to Pilates with Hannah and welcome to day 26 of the 30 minutes Pilates challenge. Today we will do a whole advanced leg slimming Pilates workout based on the request from a lot of you guys. So it will help to tone your calves, your thighs and your whole legs. So when you're ready, just roll on your mat and let's begin. Let's start by allow yourself to lie all the way down on your back. Now, I want you to inhale and keep your back in neutral position, arms along your body. Lift your legs up to 90 degrees and activate your feet. Inhale, bring one leg down and exhale, bring it back to the other side. And make sure you keep your back in neutral position here. Activate your feet. Very good. And six more times each side here with your own breath. Belly button in. Five. To your right. Activate your feet and keep the same angle on your knee here. Four, three, two, squeeze in the thighs and activate your feet. Contract your pelvic floor muscle here. Last one, to your opposite side and slowly back to the center. Now I want you to inhale and open your arms to the side, press your whole shoulders down, open your legs and squeeze in the thighs, bring your legs back together. So. Every movement start from your hips here, stabilize your hips and press your belly button in, keep your back in neutral position. And six more times here with your own breath. Inhale, open, exhale, come back. And five, four, three, very good, two, and the last one, open the center of your knee to your chest inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right now you want to inhale and try to lengthen your legs all the way up to the ceiling activate your feet here open your arms to the side and open your legs bring it back together inhale open exhale come back belly button in and keep breathing here with your own breath inhale and exhale and six five Lengthen your legs all the way up to the ceiling. Four. Three more times. Stay with your own breath. And keep breathing. Two. Inhale. And exhale. Last one. Open. And slowly bring it back. Hug your knee to your chest. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Alright. Now from here, I want you to allow yourself to lift your legs up to 90 degree again. Activate your feet here. And now arms along your body. Now this time inhale. I want you to pull your toe to the front and then dorsi flex and pull your toe to the front, plant up flex and dorsi flex and three, two, squeeze in the thighs, keep your back in neutral here and keep your knees at 90 degree and slowly pull your toes all the way to the front again. Now lengthen one leg up and bend to your opposite side and come back, squeeze in the thighs and contract your pelvic floor muscle here. Very good. And 10 times here with your own breath. So keep breathing, nine, to the other side, eight, to your opposite side, and seven, keep breathing, and belly button in, six, very good guys, four, I mean five, <laughs> I'm really bad at counting it sometimes, and three more times, see with your own breath, two, squeeze in the thighs, and try to reach your foot all the way up to the ceiling, last one. And slowly bring your legs down, shake your hips. Inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, now the next movement I wanted to inhale and bring one leg up to 90 degree. Press your opposite foot down to the mat. Inhale and exhale. Try to lengthen your leg all the way to the front and lower your leg and then bring it back. 10 times, stay with your own breath. We're gonna do it on the right side first before we move it to the other side. So keep breathing here and seven inhale lengthen squeeze in the thighs bring it back to the center six keep breathing activate your foot and make sure your opposite knee is still facing up to the ceiling very good keep breathing inhale and exhale squeeze in the thighs try to lower your legs to really feel your thighs here and keep breathing contract your pelvic floor muscle inhale and exhale and three, 
very good guys two do it slowly with your own breath to really feel your muscles working here last one and bend and bring your leg down to your opposite side activate your foot inhale lengthen exhale bring it back again lower your leg but make sure when you do that keep your hips stabilized and really pull your belly button in beautiful inhale lengthen exhale come back inhale and exhale and six very good five four more times stay with your own breath and three inhale lengthen exhale come back two and the last one and slowly bring it back hug your knee to your chest inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth now from here i'm going to allow yourself to bring both legs up to 90 degree here now arms along your body and slowly bring one leg to the side lengthen come back and close to your opposite side lengthen back and close and 10 times here each side with your own breath make sure you keep your hips down to the mat stabilize your hips here and only your legs are moving to the side and bend and come back inhale lengthen exhale back to the center open to your opposite side and slowly bring it back to the center beautiful keep breathing and a couple more times stay with your own breath beautiful contract your pelvic floor muscle here keep the same angle on your knee open lengthen exhale back and close make sure engage your core and squeeze in the thighs when you bring your legs back to the center and contract your pelvic floor muscle here very good inhale open exhale come back inhale to your opposite side exhale bring it back and three more times here with your own breath to the other side two to your opposite side now last one open lengthen come back and close to your opposite side lengthen and slowly bring it back hug your knee to your chest inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right now from here i wanted to allow yourself to lengthen your legs all the way up to the ceiling activate your feet now this time i want you to slowly open your arms to the side now inhale and open one leg to the side so i want you to hold it here for five squeeze in your thighs contract your pelvic floor muscle four three belly button in back in neutral position try to lengthen your legs all the way up to the ceiling and come back open to your opposite side and hold it here for five press your whole arms and shoulders down for more support for balance here so make sure your hips in balance and lengthen your leg activate your feet lesson one pulling your leg all the way up and three two and one slowly bring it back to the center hug your knee to your chest rotate your ankle and reverse all right now from here i wanted to allow yourself to lift your legs up to 90 degree activate your feet here bring your arms all the way up and palms facing each other now i wanted to inhale and lengthen one leg try to reach your leg towards your hand and come back to your opposite side reach and bring it back good keep breathing here with your own breath to your opposite side very good keep breathing you don't have to touch you just listen to your body and really bring it as far as you can so keep breathing here with your own breath inhale lengthen and reach exhale come back and bend to your opposite side and five very good to your opposite side four make sure you stabilize your hips and belly button in three try to lengthen and last one to your opposite side and slowly bring your legs down shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth <sighs> all right now i wanted to inhale and allow yourself to lean on one side to do silent ceremony. so hands support your head and lengthen both legs to the front of the mat bring your legs up just about the hips here and you can soften your bottom knee a little bit if you need to for more balance shoulder far away from your ears and hand in front of your chest here belly button in to support your lower back now start to make a little pulse here with your leg you can plantar flex with your foot you can dorsiflex with your foot 
is totally fine as long as you activate your feet here. So keep breathing in five, four, three, two, and the last one. And slowly dorsiflex with your foot. Lift the leg as high as you can and slowly bring it down with control. So use the breath to control the movement and make sure you stabilize your hips. Only your leg is moving up and down. Pull your belly button all the way in and keep breathing. And five more times here with your own breath. Inhale up and exhale down. In three, two, and the last one. And slowly bring it down. Bend your knees. Hug your knees to your chest. Keep your, actually, keep your knees at 90 degrees here. So activate your feet. Inhale, try to open your legs as wide as you can. And then lengthen it to the front. And bend. And lengthen. And bring it back. So keep breathing. Belly button in. Shoulders far away from your ears here. Inhale. Lengthen. Exhale. Bring it back. And lengthen, squeezing the thighs to bring your leg back to the center. Try to reach like someone pulling your foot away from your hips. So reach until your leg is totally strengthened, I mean straightened, and then come back. Very good. And five. Make it precisely four and smoothly here. Three. And two more times, see with your own breath. Now last one, and slowly bring your legs back to each other. Inhale deeply through your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, now lift one heel up. I want you to lift your leg up, the top leg up, and then bring it down. Make sure your heel still always your heel higher than your knee in this position. So keep breathing, inhale lift, and exhale down. And up, squeezing your thighs, control your pelvic floor muscle here. And five, you can feel the side of your hips and your booty muscles working here. Four, belly button all the way in. Three, now I want you to squeeze in the thighs. Two, last one, lift. And slowly bring it down, shake your hips. Inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, now move your knee up and your heels, sticks, your toes stick together. Now inhale, lift your leg up. Exhale, bring it down, inhale, lift, and exhale down. And again, eight more times, say with your own breath. So keep breathing, seven, six, beautiful, five, and four. Inhale deeply to your nose, inhale, lift, exhale down, two, and last one. And slowly toes together, knees together, shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. All right. Now from here, I want you to allow yourself to lift your leg just above the hip and keep it 90 degrees. Now lengthen your leg all the way to the front and come back. Engage your core. Keep breathing. Make sure you keep your hips square here. You can always make it easier by moving your knee further away from your legs. And lengthen your legs here. But I really want you to try to keep your knees 90 degrees. And keep breathing. Very good. Hand in front of your chest for more support. And belly button in. Beautiful. Feel your whole hips and legs is burning here. And four more times. See with your own breath. Three, two. I know you can use your hand to massage if you need to. Last one. And slowly bring your legs down. Shake your hips. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Very good. Now I want you to inhale and slowly lengthen the top leg to the back. Just lift it above back the hips here and start to rotate your leg fully to four directions here. Inhale and exhale halfway. Beautiful. And five more rounds here. Four. Slowly with your own breath. Two. And last one reverse. Beautiful. Keep breathing here. And five, four, tiny circle. The breath to control the movement and slowly bend your knees. Bring your legs down, shake your hips. Inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. 
all right now the next movement I wanted to inhale and lengthen both legs all the way to the front now keep your hands down and use your rest your head on your hand here I wanted to inhale find a balanced spot here on your hip and belly button in so we want to lift your legs up and bring your legs down so when you do that, make sure you keep your hips stabilized or your, le your legs are moving. Your torso is stabilized as well. So 10 times here. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. 9. Engage your core as much as possible. 8. Beautiful. 7. Activate your feet here. 6. If you feel a little bit tired on your leg, you can always bend your knee a little bit and lengthen it right away and lift. And down. And 5. 4 very good three and two more times see with your own breath keep breathing last one and slowly bend your knees down shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth good now the top leg I wanted to move it all the way to the back and far away from your center try to open your knee wider stretch a little bit here and then come back and slowly bring it back Bring your knee all the way towards your chest and hug. And slowly back to the center. Lean on the other side to the side kick series on the other side. Now again, hand support your head. Both legs to the front of the mat. Now activate your feet, pull your belly button and shoulder far away from your ears. Lift your leg just above the hips here. I want to inhale and start to make a little pull, stick with your leg. So 10, 9, 8, 7, belly button all the way in and engage your core, keep breathing here, very good, and five, four, three, make a little pull, stabilize your torso, engage your core, and only your leg is moving, and last one, now dorsiflex flex with your feet, I want you to lift your leg as high as you can, and slowly bring it down ten times here with your own breath, so keep breathing, nine, inhale, and exhale, Eight, seven, very good. And six more times, say with your own breath. And five, four, keep breathing. Three, beautiful. Two, inhale, lift. Exhale, down belly button all the way in. And last one. Now I want to inhale and bend your knees to 90 degree here. Now open your legs as wide as you can and then activate your foot, lengthen your leg all the way to the front and come back and 10 times here with your own breath, belly button in, 9, contract your pelvic floor muscle and really pull your belly button all the way in, 8, 7, keep breathing, 6, 5, try to reach as far as you can, lengthen your leg all the way to the front and two last one and slowly bring it back now bring your toes together and lift your heels up so your heel is higher than your knee now i want you to inhale lift your leg up as far as you can and come back activate your feet and keep breathing press your bottom leg down to the mat and belly button in squeezing your thighs contract your pelvic floor muscle here and six five do it slowly with your own breath. Four, three, very good. Two, and the last one, lift. And slowly bring it down. Shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Toes together, heels together. Activate your feet and lift your knee up. Now again, inhale, lift your leg up. Exhale, bring it down. And a couple more times, sit with your own breath. So keep breathing. Beautiful. Inhale up. Exhale down and six, five, four, very good, three, contract your pelvic floor muscle here, squeezing the thighs, and last one, and slowly bring your legs down, shake your hips a little bit here, and then lengthen your top leg all the way to the back, activate your feet, start to make a tiny circle here, and keep breathing, inhale halfway, exhale halfway, or you can make a whole long way whole long breath for one way if you want to challenge more beautiful and five four three stabilize your torso pressure hips and your bottom leg down to the mat and reverse 
10, 9, slowly tiny circle and really engage your core here. And 3, 2, and 1, slowly bring your legs down. Now lengthen the top leg to the front. I wanted to inhale and lift it just above the, the hips. Now bend your knee and then lengthen. Try all the way to the front and then bend your knee again. Keep breathing here with your own breath. Very good. And it. Activate your foot here. Seven. Keep your leg all the way parallel to the floor and higher than your hips. Just above the hips. Beautiful. And four more times. Sit with your own breath. Squeeze your thighs. Contract your pelvic floor muscle. Two. Now last one. Lengthen. And slowly bring your legs down. Shake your hips. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. All right. The next movement, I wanted to inhale and rest your head on your hand here. Again, lengthen both legs to the front and find a balanced spot where we can lift both legs up. So I wanted to inhale and lift one leg up and follow by the other one. Come back and down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Belly button in and keep breathing here. Press your hand down to the mat. Stabilize your torso. Pull your belly button all the way in towards your spine to protect your lower back. Very good. And five, four, three more times here. Activate your feet. Two, beautiful. Now last one. And slowly bring your legs down. Bend your knees to 90 degrees. Inhale deeply to your nose. Shake your hips. And exhale deeply through your mouth. All right. Now from here, I wanted to allow yourself to Lay all the way down on your stomach. Pull your belly button in and make a pillow under your forehead here. Now from here, I want you to allow yourself to lift one leg up. And now I want you to try to reach your foot all the way far away from your hips. And then start to make a little pause here with your own breath. Keep breathing. 10, 9, 8, belly button in. 6, and 5, 4, 3, 2, and one and still on the same side i wanted to open your leg to the side and make a little pause again make sure you press both hips down to the mat and really engage your core to protect your lower back so five four three two and one now dorsi flex with your feet still on the same side we're going to do on the left side first or if you already do on the right side first, just really keep breathing and do it on this the same side here beautiful bring it down and up and squish in the thighs here. Very good. Keep breathing and seven more times here with your own breath. Six, five, four, three. Very good. Two. Now last one. And slowly bring it back to the center. And still bring it up and down again ten more times here. With your own breath, squish in the thighs. Very good. Keep breathing. Don't have to lift so high, just really listen to your body. Beautiful. Feel your calves here and lift and down. And three, two, and last one, lift. And slowly bring your legs down, shake your hips. Rotate your ankle a little bit if you need to and then reverse. And to the other side here, lift your leg up just above the hips here. Start to make a little pose again, shoulders all the way down towards your hips. Beautiful. Keep breathing. In five, four, three, two, and one. Now open your leg to the side. Start to make a little pause again. So this one, make sure that you press your hips down to the mat because it's a little bit more difficult to keep your hips stabilized when you bring your leg to the side other than, rather than um, keeping your legs in the center. So three, two, and one. Now Dorsey flex with your feet. Bring your leg up and down. Touch the floor and then lift. Toes touch and lift and down and up. And seven more times here with your own breath. Six. Contract your pelvic floor muscle here. Five. Four. Lengthen your whole leg. And two more times here with your own breath. And last one. And slowly bring it back to the center. Bring it down and up. So keep breathing here with your own breath. Belly button in. Inhale down. Exhale up, beautiful, and six, five, four, 
three, two. The last one, and slowly bring your leg down, shake your hips. Inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. All right. Now from here, I want you to allow yourself to lengthen your arms all the way to the front, and slowly lift your chest up. Engage your core here. Now this time, slowly activate your feet and lift your leg just above the floor here. Now squeeze your thighs, and when you squeeze your booty muscle, open your leg to the side and come back. Engage your core. Keep breathing here with your own breath. Belly button in and stabilize your torso here. Really pull your belly button in towards your spine. Very good. Activate your feet. Open. Come back. Inhale. And exhale. In five, four, three. Belly button in two. And last one. And slowly flex with your feet and we're going to do the same thing but release your hand first put your arms down shoulder far away from your ears and forearms down to the mat and open come back and down and lift both legs at a time we're going to do it 10 times so with your own breath so keep breathing inhale lift and open exhale come back and down and seven six five very good Four more times here. And three, inhale, open. Exhale, come back. Two. And last one. Slowly bring your legs back, shake your hips. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. And when you're ready, I wanted to come to on four position here. So, shoulder far away from your ears, tuck your feet. And lengthen your leg, one leg to the back. Activate your foot here. Inhale, lift your leg up. Exhale, bring it down. Ten times still with your own breath and keep breathing. Nine, eight, belly button in. Seven, very good. Keep breathing. And six, make sure your hips still facing down to the mat and don't lift one side higher than the other one. We only want them to be balanced. And shoulder far away from your ears. Very good. And two, the last one, do it slowly with your own breath. Bend your knee and to your opposite side here. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, come back and lift. And eight more times with your own breath. I'm not sure if you guys can hear it in the video. But kids here are practicing drum for the full moon, moon, what, full moon festival. So keep breathing. Inhale, lift. And exhale, down. Beautiful. And five more times still with your own breath. Four. Three. Belly button in. Two. Now last one. Lift. And slowly bring it down. Bend your knees. Shake your hips. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. And now I want you to inhale and slowly open your leg to the side. And lengthen. So keep breathing. Tuck your toe to the floor here. And I want you to tuck your feet here. Now inhale and start to keep stabilize your torso, your hips and your leg here. I want you to keep your lengthening leg here, lift it up and bring it down, engage your core, keep breathing, belly button in and seven, six, five, very good, keep breathing, three, two, and last one, lift and slowly bring it down to your opposite side, lengthen, and again, I want you to put your shoulder far away from your ears and engage your core as much as possible for more support. Lift it up and bring it down. So make sure you keep your hips stabilized here. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. And a couple more times, still with your own breath. Belly button in. Seven, six, five. Very good. Four. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. And two. And the last one. And slowly bring it down. Come to try pose. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Alright. Now the next movement. I want you to inhale and slowly put your forearms down to the mat. Engage your core here. Again, lengthen one leg to the back. Activate your feet. Now I want you to inhale and slowly lift your leg up. Hold it here. Dorsi flex. And start to bring it down. Keep breathing. Five. Four. 
three, two, last one. And to your opposite side, dorsiflex, lift, and down, and up, and down. And a couple more times, see with your own breath. Inhale, belly button all the way in two. And last one, slowly bring it down. And allow yourself to sit all the way in sitting position. Open your legs as wide as you can and keep your feet dorsiflex here. Now inhale, I want you to lean on one side to stretch your hamstring. And your opposite side. And one more time, to your opposite side. Now walk your hand to the front and slightly flex forward. Really listen to your body here. You don't have to go so far. Just pull your belly button in to support your lower back and feel your hip is stretching, your inner thigh is stretching here. And slowly back to the center. Cross your leg, lengthen your spine, open your arm to the side, inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth. Reach your hand to one side, to your opposite side, and back to the center. Arms down, rotate your shoulders fully to four directions, and reverse. Inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. And that's the work of today. Thank you so much for joining me, and congratulations for completing day 26. And see you tomorrow, the last day of the challenge, and I'm so excited to see you guys there.